Hi everyone, I'm Valerie from Pastimes Online and I wanted to welcome you Pies and Tarts Club members to our new round of Block of the Months. Today I just wanted to show you a couple of things that we're going to be doing to complete our 10 pies and 10 tarts each month. So what you'll get is you'll get a quarter of silk with the fuse with the fuse that you have to put on the back with your iron. And don't worry about the silk, it's, it's quite durable. You can use a hot dry iron. Both sides are the right side. Um, so just put the fuse on one side of the silk. And then you'll get a piece of fabric that's coordinating, as well as a piece of background fabric to complete all of, all of your blocks. So what I wanna show you is what comes in your kit. So you'll get a pattern, an envelope that will hold all your pieces in, which is kind of cute. You'll get Milner needles, which are nice and strong and long. Two acrylic templates, which I've already put cling on the back, which will be in your kit. And your paper templates to do the English foundation paper piecing. So for our first block, You'll cut out your shapes, which I've taken a ton of pictures of, in both the, the pie size and the tart size. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect your fabric to your paper template. The first thing I'm going to show you is, once you have your needle threaded, it's just a plain polyester thread and it doesn't really matter the color, this is just a neutral gray. What we're going to do is knot the thread onto the needle so it doesn't slip out. And I usually knot it once or twice to make sure it's in there nice and tight. I know that sounds strange, but trust me, it'll be the best part of it. And then we'll do the quilter's knot. So you're going to crisscross your needle and thread, wind it around several times, hold the thread, the needle in place and then pull the thread through and you get this tiny little knot. Okay, so we have our paper template and the pattern says to leave the flap in the corners out. But I tried that in a couple of blocks and I didn't really like how it was so unfinished and it's a bit tricky to tuck in at the end. So what I recommend doing is to tuck that corner in, fold over one side, Bring your needle up, fold over the other side, and right now we're just basting the fabric to your paper template. And then all you're going to do is hold it in place and you're going to take long basting stitches all along. I like to keep my thread pretty long because you have quite a few stitches you need to take. So when you come to the corner, I just tuck this in so it's flush with this outside part. Bring your thread over and then keep tucking it over as you go all along the edge keeping it nice and smooth because this will be the edge of your block when you go to applique it onto your background. So I have two of the slices of the pies complete here basted to the paper foundation pieces. This is the periwinkle and this is our cotton. And now we're going to connect these two together with just a whip stitch along one side. Just make sure when you connect them together that they're always in the same order. So you always have the periwinkle and then the cotton, periwinkle cotton. So now let's connect these together. So I have a needle threaded here. You just need a single strand polyester thread and we'll do the quilter's knot here. So you're gonna crisscross the needle with the thread, wrap it around quite a few times because you want a decent sized knot. 
and then pull it through. There's our knot. And now what we want to do is make sure the curved sides lined up and the pointy sides lined up. And we'll just start whip stitching. So when you put your needle and thread through on here, you're not going through the cardboard, you're only going through the fabric. And then you'll continue pulling this through. And this is called a whip stitch. And you're gonna have them quite close together, but not on top of each other. And just continue on all the way to the end. So after you're finished basting them in sets of two, you're going to put them in sets of four. And then you're going to whip stitch the four to the four. And that's why I said it's really important to make sure you always have them in the same order so when you connect them together, you aren't gonna have two cottons together. Um, and now we're going to remove all the basting thread on here remove the cards from the inside, and we'll be appliquing it to our background piece of fabric. So to cut through the basting threads, you're just gonna take a nice sharp pair of scissors and just start cutting through all of them as you go. And then, after you're done this, we will remove the cards from the inside and I'll show you here how to do that. So this is now loose around here and you're just gonna slip this card out from inside. So once you have all the cards removed, you're going to take this, press it really well before and after you take your cards out and then we'll be ready to applique it onto our background. So after we've removed all the basting threads and the cards, which this one isn't quite ready for applique, but you'll pinch your four sides, the centers of those, and get them ready. And then you'll line this up so your seam will be right along the center of this background piece of fabric. And then what you'll do is either by machine with a small zigzag or by hand with a very tiny slip stitch, which I'll take pictures of, you'll complete your block. And then the small tart blocks are going to go right here. So after we connect our blocks together, which we won't be doing for a few months, we have a bit more color to play with. Okay, well, good luck and we'll have more tips and tricks to come. Thank you.